slow motion glamour shots, the movie. Hi again, I'm Ryan, your host of The Toast, and we're going to be talking about Wonder Woman. I got my DC mug this time. It's like I got a theme going here. And yes, I have a zit on my face. Thanks for noticing. So I've never been a fan of Wonder Woman, so I did not go into this movie with any kind of rose-colored glasses. And since this is a big female-driven movie, and I'm not female, keep in mind that I'm talking about this movie as a movie, Nothing more. Okay, so Wonder Woman is about an Amazonian princess whose first taste of the world outside of her magical island is World War One. Now, I gotta admit, first for the current run of DC movies, they're actually showing a beautiful paradise for once. The island of Themyscira is a big, beautiful, bright location to look at, and really, when the Amazons are fighting, you cannot take your eyes off the screen. The combat is beautiful to watch. I mean, it's well choreographed, they're leaping around in slow motion, Although the slow motion is jacked up to an almost Zack Schneider degree. But as the movie goes on, you just get more and more slow motion. Now, I, I don't really have a problem with all the big slow motion glamour shots of Gal Gadot. I mean, she's gorgeous. But it does feel like the movie could have been half as long without the slow-mo. Plus, we could have done with a few less shots of Gal Gadot doing something awesome, finishing in the superhero pose, and then flipping her hair up. Have you ever noticed that in superhero movies, someone does something awesome, lands, and they're always looking down at the floor, and then you're waiting for the perfect moment to BOOM! Now, Gal Gadot is pretty cool as Wonder Woman. Now, physically, I'd still rather see a big, strong Amazonian Wonder Woman and less supermodel, but she worked hard for this role, and credit where credit's due. In fact, you can really tell that they've tried to change things and frame shots of her differently so she looks bigger than the other actors. That, or they've cast a lot of short co-stars because yeah there's a lot of scenes where she's towering over people kind of like the whole Gandalf syndrome in Lord of the Rings where they just frame him a little bit differently to make him look a lot bigger than the Hobbit anyway it was a nice touch and you probably don't notice it if you're not looking for it now as much as I want to praise Gal Gadot I still think a better actress could have emoted more and really brought something more to the dramatic scenes totally on point though is Chris Pine what can I say the guy can emote I mean the array of dumb faces he can pull off while still remaining handsome and charismatic is staggering and his comedic timing really does shine in this movie especially with the awkward pillow talk. It does help to lighten the mood and make the error-appropriate sexism a little less prejudiced and just more awkward. Still has the dumb luck of Captain Kirk though, I'll tell you that much. But this is a Wonder Woman movie and she is put center stage and on glorious display. And when she walked out of the trenches in No Man's Land in full costume, I admit I got some shivers. In fact, that scene in the trenches and the following battle is probably the best scene of the movie because it's gone from this perfect paradise island to an almost Terry Gilliam level of sorrow and muck. And not to mention the machine gun fire on the shield. That shit was awesome, even though it does suffer from the Captain America problem that they never shoot the legs. I mean, not that you'd want to shoot Gal Gadot's legs. I mean, they're amazing. Speaking of Captain America, I gotta admit, Wonder Woman would have had more impact if Captain America the First Avenger hadn't done everything first. Yeah, 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 this is a different war, this is World War One, not World War Two, and they're not the Howling Commandos, but you gotta see them tapping that vein. Now, unfortunately, the movie does peak at the No Man's Land battle, or at least it did for me. The other scenes that really shined for me were really small little scenes like the ice cream scene, which I thought was really sweet. Now, of course, the other scenes where she's showing strength and female empowerment but not involving combat, which I think is a very important distinction. But eventually we get to the climax of this movie, which is all nonsensical garbage. Now, sorry to poo-poo on what's already a hugely successful movie, but the ending just degenerates into throwing special effects at each other. I mean, granted, movies can get away with that when they're, that's their kind of shtick, but I think they needed something a bit more solid than that. Speaking of solid, Wonder Woman really does become just more durable and powerful over the course of this movie that she really doesn't need a Justice League to help her in the next one. Seems to me that they've painted themselves into a corner for future movies. Speaking of future movies, come to think of it, where was she during World War Two? I don't want to spoil too much, but having stopped World War One a certain way in this movie, how do you explain World War Two? Anyway, Wonder Woman is definitely the most watchable DC Justice League era movie to date. I'm gonna give it a toast and jam. Mm-mm, jammy. It's a fun movie and it's got a lot of highs, but they're all stylistic highs. But anyway, congrats on a successful first lady-led superhero flick. I mean, that alone makes this movie important. I know the ladies in my life are ecstatic about this movie and it does make it hard to be critical of it. Oh, also the music in this movie is pretty damn awesome, but they don't use it to its fullest potential. I mean, they've got this really awesome guitar riff, the yeah, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, they, they only play it twice during not really super combat -y scenes, and I, I really like that. They should have saved that to the end. Anyway, if you want to see more from me, click, click, click away, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers. I have a lamp here, by the way, that's making me look really orange. I'm not in my usual location, so I've got a lamp for lighting. Uh, look, what, watch, watch. See? Is that better? Is this better? Like, this looks better. Have I just screwed up this entire video by, by filming with this stupid thing on?